Hello, and welcome to this Caspio training video series. My name is Joel, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to protect your web forms and report data pages with authentication tables. In part one of this video series, we learned how to create a login screen to protect a data page and add a logout link. In part two, we will focus on creating a password recovery data page. We're starting from the Caspio home screen here, and we're looking to uh, add on a little bit to what we created in the previous video. We've all been there. Uh, you forget a password. You'll notice that there is nothing here for anybody who had lost their password uh, to get it back on their own. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a link down here at the bottom for people that have lost their password. That so first things first, we'll go into our contacts app. Back. Go to Data Pages, and we're going to create a new data page. And when you're going to choose your data page type, it'll be password recovery. And we'll click next. And then we select our data source. So if you remember, our uh, authentication table that we made in the previous video was called new auth table. So we'll choose that. And you can change the name here. We'll just call it password recovery. And we're good. And we want to make sure we don't restrict the access on this. We want this to be a public facing data page so that people can get their passwords back. So go next. Up at the top here, the recovery fields. Uh, if you'll remember, we had password, username, email, and name in that table that we created. So the password field is, of course, already set to password. The email field, we're going to want to choose email. And then the verification fields. You can use one, two, or all of these as a verification field. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and just use username. So that's there. Click Next. Now here we can change the name of our field, but that works for now. Everything looks good. We're going to be using our username. So from here, this will be the email that your users will see. So we want it to be a no reply email. So we'll go no reply at your business name or your domain. So this is what they're going to see and you can customize this any way you'd like. Uh, if you want to make it a little more personalized, you can take the user here and come down here and choose the name and insert that so that whenever this goes out, it will be a personalized message to whatever this user is when they entered their name. So now that's that, that's done. Go next. And here you can then uh, look at the actual destination if it failed or if it was successful. And you can change and you customize the messages here as well. Some more options here as well. And it's as easy as that. So we'll go ahead and finish. So now that that's created, what we want to do is deploy this and get the link from it so that we can add this to the bottom of our authentication login screen. So we'll enable it. And we're going to do a URL that comes straight from the Caspio servers on this one. Take the link. And close. Now we have to go back to our authentications and add this into the footer. So we'll go to our authentication, edit. Go ahead and go to the footer. Now I have uh, some code ready here. So we'll take that. And all I'm doing here is just taking the link that we just we just got from the deployed uh, data page that we created and I added it into an href which is just a simple link code with the text forgot your password underneath and then added just some simple styling so that's done we'll go ahead and save it now it's saved so now we can take a look and 
see how everything worked out. This was before and after. So now if you forget your password or your users forget their passwords, they can then simply add their username in and reset password and it'll be emailed to them. That concludes part two of this video series. Please continue on to part three to learn more about authenticating data. For additional videos and training material, please visit howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching.